to living down in LA, the video. I had no idea that you was actually in that video. You was the one that was driving Tupac around LA in that yellow lowrider. Take me through that entire day and how it was like shooting that video. Um, well, um, Pac had called me and was like, shit, like two days before the video. Negro didn't give me no warning, no nothing. He was like, shit, I'm doing the live and die in LA video. Call three of your friends and uh, come on, I want y'all to roll me around town. So I was like, shit, okay. I mean, it was last minute, you know, at the time, a lot of my friends had small kids. So I was able to get the, those three to come with me, which was my friend, Natalie, Annika, and Shamika. So um, shit, on that day, we went and met him. We went and met him and um, went to wardrobe and shit, basically got dressed, got in the car and we drove around LA. We went to the Crenshaw Mall, drove pretty much everywhere. So um, now I give y'all a little secret that most people don't know is that's totally different from the video right now is that on that day, Tupac's outfit was black, I mean blue. Everything was blue. He had on a blue t-shirt, he had on a blue hat. But Suge ass went and when they, the editing and they did the video, he changed everything to red. Red t-shirt and a red hat. So the red LA hat and the red tank top that Tupac had on was actually blue? Yeah, it was actually blue. Yeah, he had on blue. He had on blue that day. Yeah, that's crazy. So um, any crazy stories from being on set, yo? Um... To hit him up? Um, not really so much that one, because it was just fun that day. We only only thing was um, on our last day of shooting, Pac kind of got irritated with the people talking about, look, check this out. I don't make money making videos. I make money in the motherfucking studio. So guess what? Fuck all this. Film them. I'm going back to the studio. Michelle, call me when y'all get done, okay? And he left. I was like, all righty then. <laughs> he was, he was, I mean, it was almost as if he was just so deaf on the studio. You know what I mean? He just had to be in the studio, you know? It was just, that was his place. That was his place. He came alive in the studio, you know, take his shirt off and get in there and in that booth. And, and when you hear his music, if you've never been in the studio, the way you, when you hear Tupac music, it gives you a feeling of you can feel him. You know what I'm saying? You can feel what he's saying and it's like a passion in it. But let me tell you why, because when he's in the booth, he's rapping it like that where the person is actually, you know, listening to an earphone and they, and they vibing like that. No, Pac used to be in, live in the studio just like, in his booth with his shirt off, me and my nigga in my Hennessy and the woo -woo, you know, the hands was, you know, he went, me and my nigga in my Hennessy, you know, no, it was me and my niggas in my Hennessy and the woo -woo 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 -woo. you know, he just, he went there. Everything you see, it was that when he was in that booth. You seen that. I mean, that was just him, that he was a Gemini. Anime. So, you know what I mean? He just had that fire side. Yeah, him and her time. was both crazy like that, you know? <laughs> so, like, um, I'll tell you another funny time was um, he had called us. He was doing hit him up video. So, we go up in there and um, was it the part where they was all rapping like in that, the, in that um, what was it, the white background backdrop or whatever, remember, and everybody was flowing the and outlaws. doing their thing, the outlaws, and it was like, nah, 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 nah. so, you know, we was there seeing them do that little part and stuff like that, so afterwards, we all came back to the trailer and shit, so we all smoking and shit up in the trailer, and um, Pac would love to freestyle, you know what I mean? That's one thing about him, he was really a free, he, he could really freestyle and just go, you know, and start talking about whatever was happening at that time. And I mean, like I said, the energy, you know what I mean? With whatever he did, it was the energy. So, um, this one is, was known to get really freestyle sync, 
You know what I mean? Joel could really freestyle sing. I mean, like you could say, say Bumblebee. Ju Joel gonna sing about Bumblebees. And then she'll come in and be, oh yeah, you know, some old crazy shit and some ranges and all type of shit. And then she would start rapping. I was like the female Wayne Brady back um, in the day. Joel <laughs> actually could rap too. So, you know, she would do it all. So we in there and they're all having fun. So I don't know how it started, but Jewel and Outlaws were rapping against each other. So they going around and, and it's like Pac looking at everyone like, you get her, cause she howling, everyone. So every time one of them is gone, Jewel like, ah, the bitch hit notes and da -da -da -da, and then rapping it, ah, you know, and that's like, oh shit, these niggas can't do nothing. You know what I mean, what the fuck? So Pac looking at everyone like, you get her. You good, you get her, you get her. So it's like everybody letting Gaddafi letting off, Edie letting off. It's like everybody just letting off on her ass, right? So Joel going back. I mean, and it's un so unfair. And I feel bad that I didn't know how the rapper sing that I couldn't even help her. But she was going against everyone. So by time, Park ran out of men. It wasn't no, it wasn't nobody else to serve Joel. So. <laughs> Jewel is not finna serve Pac and his crew on Pac's fucking trailer. That nigga must have jumped up and he was like, Jewel, you been rapping with your big ass. You like the little, 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 little. That nigga got the rapping so motherfucking hard. I think it, it wasn't shit Jewel can say, but all right, little bro, you get it. Shit. I mean, that nigga rapped for so long. He walked up and down the trailer. It was like we had to clear the alleyway so he can walk one way back down towards the, where the, the, the fucking stern wheel was. He was just going back and forth. I mean, he was rapping so hard that the trailer was moving and I mean before you know it, we was like it was like the nigga did a whole like he did a whole album on her and he went there I was like I was like dang Pac I thought we was having fun you know I mean it was like he went off on Jewel like, like she I was, was a seasoned rapper like Jewel like was, was one of the rappers that, that but, just got him but I understood because she had came in there trying to serve so Pac <laughs> just wanted to put her in her place like you know yeah you can sing but don't come in here fucking with the rap shit. You know what I mean? So that was a very I could have got him night. if I would have rapped oh, on him. Oh, shut up, Jim. He was Let my brother, know. and he came with me. I don't say He that. came on me like bullets. Uh, he was like, da 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 And I was like. <laughs> yeah. He gave no breath in there. Nah. There was no breath. It, but it that's was, just one Gemini to another one. You know what I'm saying? So I had to let that one go that time. Hmm. We just let that one go. But I loved him, and I believe mean, you got to give him credit. You know, right. Pac was our black Elvis, and he still is, because you don't forget him. People still buying his T-shirts, everything. Same with Biggie. It's a tragedy. Right. But so far, all these other rappers, ain't nobody took their place. So that's actually a good thing. You know what I mean? Mace. You had an incident with Mace where he um, made a comment about Tupac, right? Um, take me through that. How did that come about? And where was y'all at when you um, said that? It was that same, it was the same weekend um, that um, Big got killed. It was that same weekend, but it was on maybe that Friday or something like that. And it was in the House of Blues. And I had seen Mace. And he was like, yo, Shell, I want you to roll me around in the low rider like how you was rolling Tupac, Shell. And I was like, wait a minute, Mace, that might be a little too soon for this. I don't know how to feel about that. You know what I mean? And Mace is my guy, you know what I mean? That's my dog. But I was like, nah. I don't know about that, Mace, you know what I mean? When he said that, he was like, yo, Shell, I want you to roll me in my video like you did Tupac. I'm like, man, it's, it's, it's still hard right now, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that was the only thing that, that I can say that rubbed me wrong, you know what I mean? Was that little thing right there where Mace had said that. Even though I know he was joking, because shit obvious, because I never rolled him around in his video. But I did ride Tupac around in his videos, so it's only obvious, so shit. 